I think everyone should turn on the camera, right? Hello, hello. Can anyone hear my voice? Yes. All right. Let us start. A very good morning to all to all the participants. Oh, sorry. A very good morning to all the participants. My name is Chong Kaling and I will be your facilita facil facilitator today. First of all, I would like to thank everyone of you for sparing your precious time and joining us today. Welcome to today's live sharing session entitled Saving Money as a Student. I believe most of the participants today are university students who share the same problem, which is financial distress. Some of the common issues that we face, such as do not have an enough money for daily expenses, overstress due to a shortage of money, which could even aff affect to our academic performance, limited finance and poor planning for that you will be learning about the ways to save money in this live sharing session today we have invited several senior students who are currently in semester seven and above to share tips for sharing for saving money based on their own experience and insight together we have Miss Lo Jaying, Miss Tiong Feeling, Mr. Lim An, and Mr. Moyen. Without further ado, let's start our sharing session today. May I have Miss Lo to get the ball rolling? Okay, sure. Good morning, everyone. Thank you, Miss Chong, for having me. So based on my own experience, I think that one of the best tips to set up a budget is to set up a budget, a budget list. This means that you need to keep track on your daily spending and make it habits because it is important to plan your spending wisely. You should also list out the things which are essential and non-essential so that you will not end up wasting money on something which is unnecessary and regret your impulsive purchase later. Besides, don't scrub, don't scrub to peer pressure. Uh, what I mean here is don't get jealous with your friend luxury lifestyle or belonging. For instance, you want to purchase branded phone uh, such as iPhone just because your friends have it you should consider your financial situation when buying stuff, just as the Malay Edge reads uh, Ukubaju di badan sendiri. So apart from that, many university students now so they, uh, already get used to credit cards, payments, and e-wallets. Uh, for example, such as uh, in the shopping apps, we have a buy first, pay later, uh, S pay later uh, features. Uh, they often uh, uh, when uh, the student will often do not realize 
they have actually overspent their money and they are in debt. So this could lead them to bankruptcy in a young age. So in my opinion, uh, the student must student student must keep on track on their spending every day and also they need to uh, make a list uh, on their on what they want to purchase uh, that's all thank you thank you very much for your sharing miss law indeed we should always be cautious when purchasing things next let us hear from mr moyen Hello, Mr. Moyen, are you here? Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, it's okay. Uh, um, so topic is finding cheapest option. So prioritize quality over branding, learn to compare prices and find alternative product. So in, in my opinion, a student can find cheaper option or alternative product to save money. For example, you can visit an eco shop we sell product that much cheaper than other stores, such as buns, biscuit, household items, and many more. With that being said, you must learn to compare price between stores. Sometimes it's better to purchase from a store with a special promotion to save, save up money. Despite that, it's good far away. Furthermore, many students nowadays prioritize buying branded product, which are expensive, due to their reputation. They never consider buying similar product with the same quality, but no brand. For example, they always go for Nike and Adidas shoes and look down on ordinary shoes. After all, shoes are meant to be worn and nothing more than that. Your financial capability should be your top priority in buying product. Top of that, you can buy used item or second-hand items. There is nothing wrong with buying and using them as you do not save money but you also save to preserve the environment that's all for me thank you interesting i will also like to see see this opportunity to promote the products that we are selling in our online shop you can find some used test books which are suitable for those who are taking the course instead of purchasing brand new books you can consider buying from our platform which is the shopee the books that we sell are at least half the price of new textbooks usually these books will be only used for one semester so i suggest you to purchase use the textbooks to save the money you can find the link to our online store inside your inside our chat box okay let us to send the shopee link at the chat box all right done with the promoting let's continue with our sharing session miss tiang you have the floor Thank you, Ms. Chong. Hi, everyone. I would like to talk about an escape that people have to think of, which is keep fit and stay healthy. It seems irrelevant to the topic, but it is extremely important. This is because when you fall sick, you have to spend much more to regain health. For example, you have to use Grab to go to the nearest clinic or hospital and spend a large amount of money on medicine and appointment with doctors. Although we have pusat kesihatan on our campus, it could be inconvenient sometimes due to business hours and early appointment issues. Therefore, by keeping an eye on our health, we can avoid unnecessary spending. This also means that we must eat healthily during our daily lives. Don't indulge in unhealthy foods such as fast foods and junk foods. I believe that many students tend to choose those foods due to their hectic schedule but it is not a good habit and it is harm to our health. 
Moreover, you can also do exercise to keep fit. Make full use of the facilities found in our campus, such as gymnasium, swimming pool, cocks, and so forth. Carrying out sport activities is not only good for your health, but it's also a great way to keep your spare time. Most importantly, it is completely free of charge. I certainly agree with you, Ms. Tiang. Nowadays, we are not forced to wear the face mask in public, but wearing a face mask can actually lower the rise of getting the flu and other diseases. If you are, in, you are interested to find some cheap masks, do visit our web store and the link has inside the chat box now. You can assess it using the line, the line, the li sorry, the link I posted in the chat box. And besides, as Miss Tiang mentioned, we use, uh, sorry, we must eat a health healthily. If you consider buying healthy snacks, you may want to try out the jerry that we shall. It is cheaper than most of the junk foods out there, and most. Importantly, it is healthy snake for you to munch on when doing assignments. Okay, let's invite our last panelist to talk about his tips. Welcome, Mr. Lim. You may share your tips now. Thank you, Mr. Lim. In relation to the suggestion made by Mr. Lim previously, you can sell secondhand items in our Shopee store as well. Just get in touch with us and we will put up the product for you and help you to sell it in no, in no time. This will be convenient for those who are too busy to look for potential buyers. All right. Before we end our sharing session today, we will have a Q&A section. Let's take a five-minute break before we proceed. You may type your queries inside the chat box and we will have our panelists answer your questions.
All right, everyone, without wasting time, let us to see the chat box. If you have any participant wants to ask question for our panelists today. Okay, this is a question from Arifu Raman. He say, Hi, as Miss Chong mentioned, we can sell second-hand items in your Shopee store, right? May I know the categories of these items? So, this is a question that the Mr. Arifu Rahman want to ask to our panelists today. Is he, is he anyone can answer the question from Arifu Rahman? Hey. Yeah, sorry for inconvenience. Uh, I would like to answer the question just now. So as uh, Mr. Arifu have asked, uh, what item we will we uh, can post it on our Shopee store? What uh, what categories of items? So for this, uh, we prefer preferable use or pre loved textbooks. Uh, but if you have another items, uh, we can also help you to put in our web store uh, until uh, someone in interested uh, want to buy. So if you have any pre-loved books that uh, you already use or in previous semester and there is no more use in current semester, uh, you can just let us know and don't hesitate to contact us. So uh, my answer is uh, preferable textbooks, any books. And also others item also can but need to wait uh, for someone interested to buy lah. Okay, thank you. Hope answering your question. All right, thank you for Miss Law answers. So let us to see is there any questions from our participant today from the chat box? All right, we, we have another question for Miss Jain that he asked, she asked, how could we send the items for you in order to post displayed on your online store? Is there any other panelists can answer Miss Jar questions? Mm. Hello, okay. So for this, in order to, how could we send the item for you in order to post or display on your online store, okay? 
yeah, for this question, uh, you no need to send the item to us. Just send the picture for us and make sure the condition of the item was good. And then uh, please take a uh, good photos on the item so that uh, we can display nicely in our online store that can uh, that the buyer can view the condition of the books if they or of the item if they want to purchase so uh, we will contact the we will contact you when someone want to buy it and then you will proceed to the postage or to send out the items so hope hope i answering your questions all right, thank you, Miss Law. So I hope all the participants today can can more visit to our Shopee shop and uh from now and can, and then okay. So our sharing sessions has come to the end. And then special thanks to all the panelists for sharing their ideas generous, generously. And thank you once again to all the participants who joined the live sharing session today. And I hope that you learned something new from these sessions and could genuinely benefit from it. That's all for today. And goodbye. See you all again. Thank you, Miss Chong. You're welcome, Miss Law.